What about Tampa Bay? They're in a unique situation. They're clearly in win-now mode. I mean, that has never been truer than what it is for the Bucks. You know, the Brady window isn't going to be open forever, despite what the TB12 method seems to be providing him, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, sip into the fountain of youth. What did you think of the Bucks? Yeah, I thought they did a good job. They didn't have a first-round pick. They got an inside pass rusher to replace Sue uh, in Logan Hall. You know, go to key uh, the kid from the other kid from Central Michigan will come in and compete at guard for them. Uh, they traded for Shaq Mason, uh, but the 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 guard Ali Moppet I think retired. So I think they tried to come in and get someone that could come in and compete at that position. And then White, the running back from Arizona State, who's going to give them a legit threat out of the backfield as a receiver. Yeah, exactly. Rashad White re reminded me a little bit of Cordero Patterson in terms of a a, a, a guy without a position but can do a lot of things and do it really well. I mentioned that to him at the Combine. He didn't seem to love it, but, I mean, he was a first-round pick. So, at the end of the day, maybe that's the place to go. But I gave the Buccaneers a B-, minus, and I only dinged them, E.K., because they took a kicker out of Georgia uh, just for the Pete Prisco minus there. But they had a really good draft for the reasons. It, and one interesting guy they just they took in the fourth was Kate Ott, yes. who I think is one of the more tight complete end. tight ends from Washington. And he reminded me of a poor man, Jeremy Ruckert, who the Jets took in the third round from Ohio State. And I thought he was the most complete tight end in this draft. We all think Tampa Bay is going to win the division? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm checking my notes. No, I went with the Saints. Jameis Winston's coming back. Jameis Winston played his best football before he tore his ACL around Halloween last year. I'm not, I didn't want to go chalk, so I'm mixing it up a little bit. Uh, you have to hope that Chris Olave contributes right away. We'll see what happens with Michael Thomas. There are some questions. EK stared a hole through me. I didn't want to go chalk. Two points. One. Tom Brady, until he retires, he's always going to be the favorite <laughs> right, to win right. the division. I, I, you're, you're, you're sane. I'm, I, we're, we're that. Okay. I want to ask you a serious question. Am I suffering from heat stroke? Yes. No, no. It is. <laughs> if you honestly had to pick a team to win the division right now, you would take the Obvi Saints. Obviously, I would take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's all I wanted to know. But you got to understand, he still hasn't loosened his tie yet, ah, and it's working, it's man, working day. man day. It, it so is. I can understand right, why see. he would pick let's the Saints this. in this. You're, you're right. No blood <laughs> Oh, really wait not, a second. I'm back. Yeah. That's it. Now he's going to take that's Tampa it. Bay and Tom Brady. That's, that's you letting your hair down <laughs> right there? That's it. That's, all, that's as loose as it gets. <laughs> Tampa you know Bay what? it is. All right. We're getting loose. <laughs> We're giving grades. Let's take a look. So they both, by the way, took B-pluses for the Saints. Uh, Ryan Wilson, who again grades like a uh, a Latin teacher, <laughs> who's also teaching trigonometry to sixth graders, <laughs> as opposed to the gym teachers that we have up here when B Mac comes up here, <laughs> and you see the grades for Rick Spielman as well. Bucks getting that B plus. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.